Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have this little one in my arms right now because she wants to get on the desk, but I won't allow her anymore because she uh, cracked my computer screen a few days ago. You're a menace, my love. No, absolutely not. So like many of you probably, you follow them on social media. If you are on social media as much as I am, which means a lot, um, then no doubt you have seen their videos with them doing the dance challenge, which admittedly uh, spoiled a lot of the song, the, the chorus. How do you feel about instances like this one where they spoil so much of the chorus of the song beforehand, before the actual drop of the song? Because I've seen like diverging, you know, experiences or like just opinions regarding that. So on the one side, some people enjoy having, you know, the, the snippet of the chorus beforehand that way they can actually get prepared for the song it helps them get maybe more accustomed to it and just find the song catcher or like get more easily obsessed over a song even before the actual drop or on the other hand i've seen i think more people than not saying that spoiling so much of the song beforehand it kind of like removes the surprise effect that the song could have on the listener because they have already been spoiled so much of the song, especially like the killer points, AKA the chorus, you know? So yeah, how do you feel about that? I'm just on both sides and I'm kind of like in the middle. On the one hand, is it spoiling a lot? Maybe too much sometimes? Yes, absolutely. I do agree with that. However, has this marketing strategy helped me digest chorus of a song even before the actual drop? Yes, all that to say that, believe me when I say, I have heard this uh, chorus a countless amount of time. And also I'm absolutely guilty because when I stumble upon those like reels etc do i swipe immediately no like let me see them you know no english captions but talk to you later let's go to run in those heels is wild well okay they're flat but still Oh, that is catchy as hell. You know, forget the fact. Yeah. Ooh. I've heard the chorus so many times. It is incredibly catchy. Okay, think about this. Is this not... Is this not bratty demure? I thought about this earlier and I was like, this is bratty demure. Yes! Oh my gosh, she's so bratty stuff. Damn, okay, I get it. She's gorgeous. <laughs> I wonder how many people would disagree, but you know. Choose that one. Yes. Oh, the butterfly! <laughs> yeah! 
this is going to be on repeat. If you expect me to understand a thing about this music video, please don't. Do I love this song? Absolutely. I think, personal opinion, this is the best song. My own experience with them so far has been crescendo. This one, I think, is probably like their trendiest, if that, make, if that even makes sense. But like I said, to me, the chorus of this feels very bratty, demure. I hope you understand what I'm saying. But like, again, if you are as much on the, on the internet as I am, you get the what I'm saying right now. You understand this language. It's bratty because it's got a little bit of attitude of like, you know, talk to you later. But also, it's demure. You know, it's still, you know, it's still a little coquette. <laughs> like, if I were to show this video to my mother, I don't think she would understand a thing that I'm saying right now. <laughs> like, she would most probably understand the words. But the meaning of them? Ooh. To be fair, do I even know what I'm saying right now? Pfft. But I think it makes a lot of sense. This song is very bratty, demure, coquette. The aesthetic is very coquette. Yeah. But the attitude is bratty. But it's still very demure. <laughs> I hate myself right now. So, just so you know. But then again, I feel like this makes so much sense. This era, visual wise. Bold statement. Bear with me. Bold statement. But I think this is maybe their best. Bold statement, I said. Do you know how, um, how do you call this? Les fourmis en français. Like, how do you even say that in English? Les fourmis. Avoir les fourmis. Okay, have pins and needles then. All right. This song feels like having pins and needles, but like, when you are excited. Is that even a good thing? Because I feel like this is how this song, oh, this feels like sparkling water. Okay, no, sparkling water, I don't like it. So maybe like a pop soda or something. This feels like a pop soda. I think it's just the bubbling excitement in the song you know how there are fireworks right there well the song feels like this if that makes sense it feels like this like this fizziness about it is fresh it's fruity not in that sense well you take it as you want i think tingling was the word i was looking for earlier but whatever and also i feel like this song is very like time appropriate it somehow to me this feels very summery like yeah when you drink like a, a soda in, on a very on a very hot summer day which sounds delightful right about now this is what the song is giving me okay that was the cat eye wasn't it oh this also feels like a sugar rush oh you know those like peach peach bonbon if this had like a flavor it would be this flavor like, these are so good oh my god imagine a fizzy drink with this exact flavor there you have it this is so good is it them from another dimension anyways to write this up i feel like to be honest, I had kind of like my inkling. I kind of knew going in that I would most likely enjoy the song. I like it even more than I thought I would. So that's a good thing. Incredibly catchy, incredibly trendy, I feel like also. Undoubtedly, I feel like the dance was also made to fit the dance challenge on social media very, very well. Their marketing strategy is really, really well done. You like it or not, but the effect is here. The results are here, you know? Well, honestly, I think this is my favorite song of them. I really, really like this one. On those words, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.